hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, about six weeks ago, I tied a black and purple nymph for you, which is a, a great all round nymph. But today I'm going to tie the early season version and uh, really is totally different to the original, but serves extremely well at this time of the year. So this is a nymph for now. Now in the vise, I have a size 16 light nymph hook with a 2.8 silver bead. I'm just going to mount the bead. You will recognize some of the components, of course, from the original, but you will have already noticed that the bead is silver for the early season. And trim off the excess thread. I'm tying with 12 o black thread. Right, for the tail, I'm going to use uh, Coq de Lyon, and this is a medium pardo. And I'm going to take off maybe six or seven fibers, pull them 90 degrees to the stem and tear them off. And tie them in. Pull those to length. Like so. And wind them down. And trim off the excess. Now the uh, purple is exactly the same as last time, uh, which is number 18, a light purple from Textream. And I'll just snip a piece off. and we'll tie that in. And bind it down. Just trim off that bit of excess. And wind it back down to the rear of the fly. Now the body is going to be some uh, black pheasant tail. Now you only need a couple of fibres. Uh, two should be sufficient on this size hook. If I can take off two, there we go. Just tear those off. And I'm going to trim up the points. So, and tie them in. Just pull them to length and bind them down. Like so. Now before I wind on the fibres, I'm just going to put on a bit of glue to help strengthen the tie and wind them on. You don't need too many winds, in fact you won't get too many winds on uh, as it's a size 16. Of course you could use Hackle pliers if you wanted to. And tie those off. And trim up the excess. Now I'm going to wind on the, the purple rib. And tie that off and trim up the excess. Like 
Right, now there is going to be a collar on this and it's going to be red holographic. And this is uh, a Madeira color 515. So I'll just snip a piece off. And we'll tie that in. And trim up the excess. Like so. Once again, I'm going to put on a little bit of glue to hold the tinsel in place. Oh, that's three or four turns and tie it off. and trim up the excess. So you can see that there are already some different components um, with the pheasant tail, the silver bead and the red collar. Um, but I am going to stick with the Arctic Fox. I'm just going to put a little bit of wax on the thread before I Dub this on. If you recall, these are quite long fibers, some of these. So I'll just two, three, four, five winds, and that is a th thin collar. And before I tie it off, I'll just put a little bit of glue on the thread. And tie it off. And trim up. Like so. I'm just going to brush out the collar just a little. So now you will have noticed that uh, the red collar is very similar to the early season gasolina. A red collar is very, very attractive to trout uh, in the early part of the season. Uh, this is a great fly for now. Do uh, tie some up and uh, get them in your fly box and you'll see how successful this can be. Now, if you want to use hair's ear instead of the Arctic Fox, or any other material for the collar, that's entirely up to you. But keep to this basic pattern. I hope you enjoyed the tying. Uh, do subscribe if you have not already subscribed, hit that bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for viewing. Bye.